That's it. It's over for Vultures 2. Ty confirms himself on Vitaly's stream of all places that Vultures 2 will not be releasing on any streaming platform, Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, nothing, and will be dropping only exclusively on the new Yeezy app that is set to be released soon. Play the clip. Also, like and subscribe if you're new. It helps the channel out a ton. All right, now play it. Ren NFW27 donated $5. Ty, is Vultures 2 dropping on an app or on streaming services? Mm. On the app. Really? Man, I really didn't want it to happen this way, and I think that this is going to be extremely bad for Kanye and the album just in general. I think the way he sees it is if he can finesse a number one after everything that happened late last year, he can do anything. But without streaming on his side, all of the hype for this album is going to be absolutely dead in my opinion. It also does not help at all that one of the biggest rap beefs in rap history is at its peak of its popularity right now. If Vultures released on the night that it was originally supposed to, especially not on streaming platforms, it would have been so overlooked by everybody listening to the new Drake and Kendrick disses. So I guess it was kind of a blessing in disguise that it didn't end up dropping that night, but honestly, even if Vultures 2 does end up officially dropping, and I'm saying officially with air quotes because if it's not on DSPs, it's not official to me, but if it does end up dropping exclusively on this new Yeezy app, the album is straight up cooked, especially if you have to pay $20 for it. I know I'm not fucking paying for that shit. Kanye still hasn't even delivered my pods from three months ago, and I'm going to pay him $20 for music that I can find on the internet for free? Kanye! Where are my pods? But in this stream, there's a lot of new information about Vultures 2 being revealed by Ty as well. So let's talk about that and stop bitching and moaning about the whole streaming platforms thing because honestly, I don't think that has a chance of changing at all. I'm sorry to let you guys down, but I think they've made up their mind on this one. Let's talk about the date first, probably the most unreliable thing from this stream. I promise the rest is probably true, but it's best just not to take this part of the video too seriously because we know how Kanye and Ty have been with dates in the past. Ty said himself that vultures could drop any day now and that there are dates out there. He didn't end up saying any of the dates like actually, but he did say that they have dates in mind. Here's the clip of him saying it. So how's life? What's new? Amazing. Popping. Finishing up the album. Everybody wants to know when Vultures 2 is dropping, bro. Can you give him a sneak peek? He's dropping ASAP. He's Ace. dropping ASAP. No date yeah. yet? Nah, this Wait, date's... Ty, do you have anyone hopping in? Huh? Is anyone hopping in? No, we're good. No, 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 no. He's gonna follow my Pause. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, Vultures 2 is on the way, man. That's Come cool. on, give us the date, bro. Please, bro. Come it's on. coming soon. Like, Come any, what's any soon? Day now. Any, any day? day? Now. Any it day? Can be, it can be tomorrow. Uh, the child wants to know so bad, bro. That's everything said about the release period, of the album at least. They did talk a little bit about the track list and what songs we might be getting. A lot of us already know some that are already going to be on there, like the pretty big snippet of Field Trip on there. They did play it on stream, so it honestly seems like this song is going to definitely be a lock for the album. They also did play a whole Cardi verse as well. Ty did say some of the leak songs are on the track list, so I'm assuming this is what he means by that, along with any of the scrapped Vultures 1 cuts that didn't make it on the album originally, like River and other popular leaks. He also said that Vultures 2 isn't going to just be all of these leaks, that it is going to have a lot of unheard songs as well, so that's good news at least. Probably the only good news that we're getting from the stream. That's so important, I feel to making the album succeed if there's no good surprises in my opinion i think it makes a lot of people's reactions less hype for the album so it is good that there is some mystery on here if we're being real and probably the other biggest news kind of expected but it's nice to see it confirmed is that there is said to be another single for vultures 2 as well and there are dates in the mix once again it was not revealed but it's good to know that this is in mind now onto this app that is going to house the album, the official Yeezy app. The Instagram account did just change their profile picture, which doesn't fucking matter at all. I don't even know why I said that, but I do just want to talk about the app just for a little bit. The fact that this thing 
isn't even out on the app store right now being tested for any amount of number of users worries me a ton I already know that release night is going to be hell. Super slow, the app is gonna break. I really don't know why they're doing this. The fans do not want it, and it couldn't be any more obvious that this is only about money to them. Obviously, that is the end goal for them, but like, at least they could try and fucking hide it. Now, there is no answer if this whole album would eventually come to streaming services after being released on the app. I think if there were a medium that is sitting in their head right now, that is what it would be. But honestly, it really would just destroy any hype that there is for the album. I don't think it would be successful. It would be another Donda 2 type situation. Like, yo, call me a brokey. I don't care, but I am not paying $20 to get an album early, especially one that's getting officially released a week later, even a month later. I am not paying for that shit and is probably going to be all over the internet within 10 minutes of the $20 version dropping anyway for free. It's just so stupid for all of this to be happening. And honestly, I will never be on their side for this one. And I'm sure you guys aren't either. Just leave a comment down below and let me know what you think because I'm so fed up with this. It's also pretty clear that Ty has no idea what's going on. He thought Quavo was on fucksome. We're so cooked. I'll be keeping all of you guys updated on everything rap, all different types of rap content, news, everything. So be sure to like and subscribe. It means the world and it helps my channel out a ton. Join the Discord, the best music community on the internet. We're going to be hosting a ton of events and different types of giveaways and more in there. So yeah. Also, follow the Instagram and the TikTok. All of those links that I just mentioned, everything will be down in the description below. Thanks again so much for watching, and on that note,